Uh, hi guys, Tungsten here. So today we are going to look at the uh, circuit diagram basically for my uh, Tungsten V6 uh, build. So uh, basically this diagram can also, can also be found under my GitHub account. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description. I have the overall diagram as well as splitting it up into a smaller portion so that it's easier to follow. So yeah, so let's get started. Uh, so basically I power the uh, the entire circuit with the uh, LiPo battery as well. So let's just take a look at uh, part by part. Uh, and then uh, you, you know that the other circuit is actually pretty simple. Yeah. Okay, so let's just start with the Arduino board itself over here. And then we have our battery pack. So this is uh, from the battery itself. I've just split it up into various kind of uh, uh, connections to uh, to lead to uh, various portion. Uh, basically, one will be for the flywheel itself over here, and the flywheel basically will be a uh, sort of control via the MOSFET, as you can see over here. All right, so let's just take a look at the uh, MOSFET itself. Okay, so if you can see over here, basically I'll connect uh, so-called uh, from the battery all the way to the flywheel and then the signal wire over here will be connected to the Arduino pin. Uh, so this is an uh, internal MOSFET logic level, so it should be able to uh, handle the, uh, handle the uh, current uh, sufficient to handle the current. Yeah. So let's uh, move on. Alright, so the next uh, thing that we probably want to look at, uh, a simpler one, will be the uh, trigger and the ref. So you can see over here the uh, trigger, it's just a simple switch. Uh, you can use the original switch from the rapid strike, it's fine. So you have one that leads to the pin and one to the Arduino ground. And then of course the ref is the same situation. Uh, one to the pin and then uh, one to the Arduino ground. As well as the magazine uh, reset. Now. If we take a closer look, you realize that you require quite a number of uh, uh, wires that leads to the ground. So what you can do is, of course, you can sort of uh, uh, combine them all together and then lead to the uh, Arduino ground itself. Right, so let me just uh, remove this portion and then go for the selector over here. So if you take a look at the selector, basically I have uh, uh, connected two of the signal and then okay one to the ground itself. Uh, so if you have other type of uh, three-way switch, it's also fine. So we just need to make sure that uh, you can have this kind of combination and uh, that, that'll be it. Yeah. Alright, so the safety itself is again the same setup same kind of setup whereby one is to the pin and one is to the ground so for the uh, pin that I use uh, you can refer to the uh, Arduino coding as well so the, that will do the indication uh, in the coding itself I specify what pin I use okay and then of course the other one is the uh, OLED display over here again uh, okay uh, this will be powered by the 3.3 volt and then uh, the rest is basically uh, to the ground and to A4 and A4 and A5 pin for my setup. Yeah. Okay. So uh, next to power to power up the uh, Arduino itself, I use a BEC over here. So it will be uh, getting the uh, input from the battery, and then it will convert it to the uh, so called the uh, five volt that uh, the Arduino needs. So um, before that, of course, I have an on-off switch and uh, that will lead to there. Now, I actually uh, sort of uh, link it to the 5 volt uh, itself rather than the V-in. I sort of feel that the, uh, especially if you are using the China-made Arduino board, um, the uh, on-board reg regulator seems not to not very reliable. So anyway, I prefer to connect it to the 5 volt pin. And uh, yeah, so if you connect to a V in, I think there will be a voltage drop as well. So my BEC is to 5 volt. Uh, so that will do nicely for the 5 volt pin. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. So uh, to for me to read off the voltage, I use a voltage sensor. So over here, you know, you again you tap the um, voltage uh, from the uh, battery, and then of course uh, one to the Arduino ground, and then the other one to the pin itself, analog pin itself, and then I can use it for calculation. Now for the board itself, um, I actually desolder uh, the uh, blue portion over here so that it's, it does not take up that much of a space. And uh, the formula that I use may have to adjust according to the board that you uh, bought or make use of. Okay. Alright, so not to confuse, so I'll remove all this. Uh, next will be the uh, pusher itself. So the pusher itself uh, is the solenoid, right? So you, you are supposed to get the, the uh, power from the uh, battery. So if uh, power is being supplied, then you will extend. If not, you will just uh, in the stationary position. So how do I control it? I use a MOSFET setup. This MOSFET setup is exactly the same as the flywheel over here. So I have a flyback diode as well. And then uh, the signal pin will be lead to the Arduino board. So again, I'll use this uh, so-called pin to control whether to uh, open the, the uh, MOSFET. Okay, and uh, then uh, it basically energy will flow and then it will extend. If I close it, then you'll retract. So this is the basic setup. So as you can see that uh, it is actually uh, pretty straightforward, I will say. Uh, Coming to mod, I want to do something that I can recreate, and uh, something that is uh, not not that uh, so so many wires to co connect. Okay, one thing to to add is for the um, flywheel itself. Uh, over here, the flywheel itself, I like to uh, sort of uh, attach a capacitor to the uh, DC motor to reduce the electronic noise, so that it won't interfere with any uh, sort of the uh, sensor and whatnot. Yeah, so other than that, uh, that will be more or less uh, the overview of the entire circuit for the uh, for this Arduino build. Yeah, so uh, again, all information will be uh, available on my GitHub account. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Tungsten. So uh, do uh, hit like and subscribe if you find my content uh, interesting. Thank you.